Hey there, Emily Farber with Lepic Krager Realtors in Iowa City, Iowa. Thanks for joining me. The topic of today's video is for people who are considering a purchase of a condo, townhome, or maybe even a house that falls under a homeowners association. If you are considering a purchase of one of those three types of properties, you need to be aware of that homeowners association's potential pet restrictions because your furry or creepy or crawly friends may or may not be welcome. Let's get started. All right, we all know purchasing a house is a big, exciting time for a lot of people. And when somebody hands you that thick stack of papers that look like maybe they've been photocopied about 97 times and you start off reading them, it's all a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo, the eyes roll back in the head and you think, oh my gosh, this is so boring. I can't read it. That's not a good idea. It is your responsibility to fully understand the rules, regulations, covenants, and bylaws that govern the property you're considering purchasing, especially if you have a pet or multiple pets. Just because you love your furry kitty or your adorable slobbery dog does not mean that the homeowners association is going to feel the same way. Most homeowners associations do have some sort of pet policy in effect. Common pet policies that I see in the greater Iowa City area include things like no farm animals. There can also often be restrictions on the size of your pet. So that Great Dane that you name Tiny might not be welcome. Some other common HOA restrictions on pets include the number of pets, the weight of the pets, and the breed of the pets. Sometimes you'll encounter an HOA that has pet restriction rules in place, but the people who live in the, in the association say, eh, it's no big deal, nobody cares, nobody follows the rules anyway. Hold on. If I were your buyer's agent, I would advise you to put a contingency in your purchase agreement that stated in order to move forward with the purchase, you must receive written verification from the HOA board that your particular pet situation will be allowed. So say the HOA allows one cat per household and you have two, you're going to want written verification that your two kitties will be given the thumbs up. Condo rules, bylaws, and covenants exist to promote and enforce rules to ensure the longevity of the association, as well as to promote safe and enjoyable living for all of its residents. Condo boards strive to ensure all common elements of the association, such as entrances, hallways, rec rooms, common outdoor spaces, etc., are accessible and enjoyable to all of the development's residents. So why does it matter what you do within the walls of your own condo or townhome? After all, you own that part, right? Well, yes, you do, and you actually own a share of the exterior stuff, but it still matters within the walls of your own condo because your actions have an effect upon things like noise, smells, health and safety, and overall general damage to the greater association as a whole. Condos do have the ability to limit pets, but it must be a written rule or a regulation and it must have been voted in or have been part of the initial condo declaration. Now, condo rules must still abide by state and federal laws, which means if you are a person with a service dog, that HOA's association cannot deny you the right to have the dog on the property. Hey, thanks for joining me. It has been great once again. Remember, I put out videos every Friday about real estate related topics or feature stories about the greater Iowa City area. I would love to have you join me. So hit that subscribe button down below and pro tip, do you see the bell? If you click the bell, then you'll be notified every time I put out a new video and you won't miss a thing. If you have any questions about buying or selling real estate in the greater Iowa City area, give me a call. I would love to talk to you. And 
make it a great day.